Hi everyone, I'm Alex, thanks for clicking, and welcome to this lesson on small synonyms. If you've watched my lesson on big synonyms, this lesson has a similar idea. We're going to look at ways to make your vocabulary richer, to make it stronger, and to add variety. So I will be looking at some other ways that you can say small, um, so that you don't sound like you're repeating the same adjectives, the same words again and again in your conversations or in your writings. So let's begin. First, we have a sentence. He's, she's, that's, you can say it's, so. Obviously, you could say small if you're talking about a building, a chair, a table, whatever it is that you're talking about. You can also say, that's so little. So little and small are probably the two most common words that you likely know. And you might know the next one as well, which is tiny. So you can have a tiny problem or a tiny headache or a tiny issue with someone. The next one might be new for some of you, and that word is minuscule. Now, minuscule, think of the word mini, which is here, and again, mini just means small, just means little. If you want to make it a little more formal, you can say it's, it's minuscule. So if you have the difference between buying one car and another car, but one car is much better, but the price difference is not very big, you can say mm, the price difference is minuscule. I should pay the extra money and get the much better car. Okay, so a difference can be minuscule or small or little. Next, we have the word petite. This comes from the French word for small, petit or petite. I apologize for my pronunciation. Uh, we also use this word in English. In English, it means like cute, so small that it's cute and adorable. Like this little thing, what is this? Hey, oh, there's a little Pikachu in my pocket. So as you can see, this Pikachu is very petite, so cute, so small, so tiny that he's adorable. Okay, Pikachu, I'll see you later. Ah, he's small, but he's very heavy. I hope he'll be okay. Next, we have the word puny. Now, puny has a negative meaning. It's so small that it's weak, not strong. So a person can have puny muscles, for example. Um, so again, petite, cute, and adorable. Puny, so small that it's weak, not strong. Next, we have the word mini, which we discussed. And the final three words are not as commonly used in writing, but we definitely use them in speech. So the word we, if you want to, you know, have a big problem, and when you're talking about this problem to your friend, and you don't want to stress the size of the problem, and you want to say, mm, we have a wee problem, a small problem. Even if the problem is big and you want to make it smaller in the person's mind, you can say, we have a wee problem, a teeny problem, a teensy problem. So all three of these words, they use the sound e, and you can stretch it out when you're saying it, a wee problem, a teeny problem, a teensy problem. And Finally, we have one, two, three, four expressions where we're combining two different adjectives and we're making them sound really cute and adorable and small and tiny. So first, itty bitty. It sounds fun to say, right? So repeat after me, itty bitty. Good. You can say an itty bitty problem. I have an itty bitty headache. Very cute, adorable almost. Next we have we have the word teensy, and if you want to emphasize it even more, teensy weensy, okay, teensy weensy. Same with the next one, teeny tiny. So all you're doing is combining teeny tiny. And finally, we have itsy bitsy. So there is a children's nursery rhyme that goes itsy bitsy spider. And uh, if you're lucky, maybe you'll get to hear it at some point. So. One more time, from the top, listen and repeat, practice the pronunciation. Little, tiny, minuscule, petite, puny, 
many, we, teeny, teensy, itty bitty, teensy weensy, teeny tiny, and itsy bitsy. Okay. So, if you'd like to test your understanding of how to spell these words, how to use them in context, as always, you can check out the quiz on ingvid.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye! The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and... Hey, what are you looking at? Wash the spider out. Okay.